Okay, look, we've heard from the masses and it looks like people get pretty upset when you do videos that aren't about stoves. So we're gonna have to kinda, you know, narrow the focus a little bit. Yeah, I noticed that in the view count. You know, thing is, there's only so many stoves. Isn't it kinda nice to switch things up a little bit? No, it's not cool. Really, come on. I mean, don't people out there like a change of pace? I mean, is this microphone on? Can you hear me? I don't understand. Do you have any comprehension of the YouTube algorithm at all? I said stoves and only stoves. Yeah, but an e-bike totally fits my lifestyle. I mean, why don't people understand that? I could take it on adventures. I could go out, find new places to cook food. I can find new little fishing holes. I mean, it just makes sense. Okay, can you boil test your bike? Well, no. How many BTUs does the bike have? Seriously? Okay, does Trangia make an e-bike? What? Fine, fine. I will ask a more relevant question. Excellent. What you got? Will it run on white gas, unleaded gas, and diesel? Will you or will you not include some type of stove content in this video? Fine. Yes. Yes. I will show a stove. In fact, I'll show a stove that I'm almost positive 99% of my viewers have never seen. Will it be a full review? Are you kidding me? It's like a sneak peek, you know, like a teaser. Just one stove? Fine, three stoves. Well, I don't know. Fine, I guess, I guess that'll have to do. Well, I'm glad I finally made you happy. Thanks for watching. It's been hot here in Louisiana, and I'm not gonna lie, it has really shut down production of a lot of these videos over the last six or eight weeks. We were over 103 or 104 degrees for six weeks straight, which is crazy. Now they're predicting a very cold winter with lots of snow, which would be interesting. I will take the cold and the snow any day over 105 degrees and high humidity. Despite the heat, I've enjoyed riding this bike quite a bit. I ride it mainly at night, late evening night. I've managed to put well over 200 miles on the bike. So it's been pretty cool so far. So we're gonna go on a little bike ride today. I'm gonna tell you guys some things about the bike. I wanna highlight some things after over 200 miles of use. A couple things that I really like about the bike. A couple extra things about the company itself, which you may want to know and maybe answer a few questions that some of you posed over the last uh, video when I introduced you to this e-bike from Hosco. So let's take off on that ride, and I promise you guys, at the end, we're gonna take a look at some of those stoves I talked about. I won't let you down. Like I said in my first video about this bike, I've been pleasantly surprised about just how enjoyable it is to ride. The battery life has been excellent. I've not been able to take it off-road much because of the heat. I mean, it's just been crazy, as I discussed earlier. Over 105 degree heat and high humidity doesn't make for very pleasant and really very safe conditions for that matter. I did want to mention that I'm just over six foot, I'm about six foot one and I weigh just under 200 pounds. A lot of people would ask me that to kind of have an idea of how it would handle uh, someone my frame. Something else I wanted to highlight is the torque sensing technology. With the different levels of pedal assist, it's easy for almost anybody to ride this bike. The torque sensor will automatically sense how much effort or torque you're putting into the pedals and the bike will compensate by adding assist and torque wherever it's needed. As I said in the first video, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, it's effortless, it's seamless, it feels very intuitive. I pretty much exclusively keep my pedal assist on level one, but it's also fun to experiment. Uh, if you want to try one of these bikes out, Hofsco is partnered with tons of shops, bike shops around the country where you can reserve a test ride and even get e-bike maintenance. Check the website for details. Like I told you guys, I didn't have a lot of experience off-road, but I was able to go across and just get on even just a little bit of gravel. And I'm going to let you guys see what it's like. It was a lot of fun, so here we go.
that was pretty cool. It really handled well, kind of my first time off of pavement. So it went really, really well. Like I mentioned to you guys, most of my riding has been done at night because of the, the heat. And right out of the box, this, this bike is ready for those conditions. The back uh, indicator light gives you peace of mind that people are going to see behind you. And the front spotlight shines super bright. It not only alerts others to the fact that you're there on the road, but it does a great job lighting the way and increasing visibility. Overall, this bike has been an awesome introduction to the e-bike world. So let's get back to other things y'all are more interested in, probably stoves. So let's take a look at those stoves real quick. I promised y'all we would look at them. Not a full review by any means, just kind of a teaser, like I said at the beginning of the video. So check out these three stoves. We'll start with two of them from our old favorite, Goshawk Outdoors. Here's the first stove. It is a stove from Goshawk. You can see the form factor, very cool, kind of space age looking design, right? This top comes right off. It is a nice screw on top. Sometimes the, uh, oh, there we go, has a O-ring on the inside there. Double walled, okay? Really nice, I mean, just the quality of these Gossock stoves. You can kind of see there what a nice looking stove it is. I mean, how cool is that thing? So we're gonna take a look at this here soon on the channel. Let me show you another stove from Goshawk. This one's got quite a few pieces. This is the actual stove itself, okay? Again, super, super well made. You can see that. The way you do this is pretty simple. Just pop this like this, okay? Put your stove in the middle, all right? So there is the stove itself. And then you've got this windscreen the windscreen pops into these little, you can see right in here, these little spots. You just pop this in, just like that. I mean, I mean, guys, really? How cool is that thing? Absolutely cool, but can't see it for too long. Let me show you the last stove. This is the last stove. This is a Ganesha cook stove. Pretty freaking cool. This was sent to me to review. Comes in this nice little case. Let me pull it out and just show you guys real quick. The concept of this stove is ultra light. It um, folds up. It is an ultra light folding stove that is a gasifier stove. So very quickly, let me show you guys just a little bit. It's got two chambers as you can see. That's a little better. Two chambers you can see. I'm not gonna give y'all too much to see, but it folds up, super compact, super lightweight, and it basically folds down and you have a dual chamber um, gasifier stove with a central burning box and then the outside, which is where the pot stands. But that. That's, that's it. Now we had a little fun at the beginning of this video about the nature of kind of changing up the topic of some of my videos. Obviously the majority of what I do is stove or stove related, but not everything that I do is going to be stove or stove related. I had an opportunity to check out this bike. I thought it was a great opportunity to add this product to my life, add it to my videos, add it to my lifestyle. And I thought, man, why not? I knew going in that it was not going to be the most popular video, and this video probably won't be the most popular video, but that's okay. In the end, I do YouTube for fun. I have a full day job. That's what pays the bills. This is just fun. I've told you guys before, the money that I make from YouTube, I either put back into the channel itself, or I siphon off as much as I can to save for college for my kids. I want to do things that I enjoy. I want to make videos about things that I enjoy. A lot of Channels will make a separate channel so that they can kind of protect their algorithm, protect the things that they love to do. I don't want to do that. I do have a separate channel, the Paleo Maker MD channel, where I do very different stuff. And I hope to expand that channel over time, but right now my efforts are mainly here on the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Uh, I enjoy these stoves, I enjoy gear, but I also enjoy getting out. And I haven't done as much of that lately, you know. Everything was so changed by COVID. My job was changed tremendously by COVID. My life has changed a lot. And, and I haven't been getting out as much. So I'm hoping to be able to do that more as things start to cool off into this fall and into the winter. 
hopefully it is a very cold winter, we do get a lot of snow, that would be awesome. So I will apologize in advance for the videos that don't have to do with stoves. They're going to continue. They're going to continue when I feel like I want or need a break away from kind of the standard stuff that I do. I don't really want to start another channel. I don't think my channel's big enough to start another channel. And I just want you guys to kind of just see the things that I like and share those things with you. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, it really, it does help. It does help quite a bit. The biggest thing you can do is subscribe. So if you like this video, subscribe to it. I do want to thank Hofsko again for sending the bike out to me. They're very generous in sending it out. And I've been very, very pleased with not only this bike, but the whole concept of an e-bike and how it fits into my lifestyle. So as always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more stove videos and any other videos that I might find interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good fall, a great winter. I hope uh, the weather is good for everybody. I hope that it continues to cool off here. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.